Are you upper middle class? Well, here are five ways to know for sure if you are indeed in the upper middle class. And before I begin today's video, I think it's important to share with you today's source was from Yahoo Finance on a recent article, Are You in the Upper Middle Class? and Eight Signs You've Jumped from the Middle Class to the Wealthy. Everyone can agree that we would all like to have a better life for ourselves and for our family. And for the majority of us, most of us fall into the middle class. So that being said, as I read this article today, I was thinking to myself, how many people actually make up the middle class here in the United States? What is the total percentage? So interestingly enough, I did do some research on this and I pulled this data from the Pew Research. And then since 1971, unfortunately, the middle class has been shrinking here in the United States. So much so, it's down to 50% of the total population is found in the middle class as of 2021's last report. So from extrapolating from various finance journals to include today's article from Yahoo Finance, here are five ways to know that you are actually in the upper middle class as opposed to the latter, the middle class. So without extrapolating data points like net worth and income levels, because everything can be different if you lived in a big city to a rural area. So one of the first key points to know if you're in the upper middle class is this. Number one, you have multiple income streams. Multiple income or passive income streams could be anything from like rental property income, stocks, bonds, life insurance accounts that pay cash value, or even royalties, or having a side business that creates income for you. All that being told, multiple income streams is critical, and that would put you in the upper middle class if you are fortunate to have those types of streams. Number two is very similar to number one in that you own and have long-term assets. So owning your own home is a wonderful long-term asset. However, diversifying from just your primary home like rental property or owning stocks are wonderful long-term assets that will pay you lifelong passive cash flow, which is very important in building your wealth and maintaining your wealth throughout your life. Number three, you have built something for yourself. That can be anything as simple as having your own small business, maybe your side hustle becomes this wonderful new business. To a lot of people, I don't wanna be an entrepreneur, Matthew. I don't wanna start something like that. Well, you know what's also important is investing in yourself. So if you actually go back to school and you have this wonderful new skill set, say in computer science, finance, whatever that looks like, and it makes you a prized commodity in the workplace, that's a wonderful thing to have and own that you've built yourself. So. With that being said, owning something is a wonderful way that the upper middle class enjoy in building and maintaining their wealth. Number four, the upper middle class always surround themselves with an excellent team. An example of having a great team would include an accountant that helps you with your tax preparation and deductions for maybe your small business. Additionally, you're gonna want a family attorney that helps you with your estate planning or your trust and will for your loved ones. And lastly, you're going to need a great relationship with your bank or financier to help you with your investments, maybe your loans, and all of your banking needs. That is an example of having a great team. Number five is a rolling basis across the country net worth that you need to have to be considered in the upper middle class. As reported on a 2023 Modern Wealth Survey from Charles Schwab, an average upper middle class family has about $2.2 million of average net worth to be considered in the upper middle class. If I could add an, a sixth one, that would be maximizing your ability to take time off to spend with your loved ones and family and friends. Unfortunately for a lot of folks, they cannot take time off because they just would have the ability to make up the bills for the lost time. If you're in the upper middle class, the majority of the time these people can take the time off because they have multiple income streams and that way that allows them to leverage their time to enjoy with their loved ones and family. Well, there you have it. Are you in the upper middle class? I hope you got value out of this video. And as always, feel free to share your comments and tell me what you think about today's video. Love to hear from you guys. As always, I'll see you guys on the next one.